The way home or face the fire. The survival plan for all human plus beings. Chapter 7. The Choosing of Abraham and His Line There are many references in the books of Moses to God's spaceship covered by a smoke screen, cloud, which looked like a cloud of smoke by day and a fire by night. In the daylight, the smoke cloud hid the spacecraft completely, but by night, the lights on board and the engines gave off a great glare. Exodus 40:38. For the cloud of the I Am was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire, light, energy, was on it by night, and in sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. In daylight, the smoke cloud hid the spacecraft completely, but by night, the lights on board and the engines, Exodus 40, 38, gave off a great glare, which mixed with the smoke screen and gave the impression to the people of a very simple mentality, of a fire in the sky, with great heat and thunder, question mark, and lightning, question mark, and strange noises, Exodus 19, 16, 20, 18, and 24, 15 to 17, and Numbers 9, 15 to 16, 1916. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there was thunders and lightning and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. Exodus 20:18. And all the people saw the thunderings and lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking and when the people saw it they removed and stood afar off. 24:15-17. And Moses went up into the mount and a cloud covered the mount and the glory of the I Am abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud, and the sight of the glory of the I Am was like devouring fire on top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. Numbers 9.15-16 to 16. And on that day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, namely, the tent of the covenant. And that even there was upon the tabernacle, as it were the resemblance of fire, until the morning. So it was always, the cloud covered it by day, and the resemblance of fire by night. The people were told not to go near, and were afraid to do so, because of the heat. Some people never do as they are told, and did in the beginning, and were burned. Exodus 19.17.21 Chapter 20:18, Exodus 19:17, And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the neither part of the mount. And the I Am said unto Moses, Go down, charge the people, lest they break through unto the I Am to gaze, and many of them perish. Exodus 20:18, And all the people saw the thunderings and lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking, and when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. God also came down in a pillar of smoke to talk to Moses, Exodus 33, 9 and 34, 5. Exodus 33, 9. And it came to pass, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle, and the I Am talked with Moses, 34, 5. And the I Am descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the I Am. God also came down out of the pillar of smoke to talk to Moses, so that the people could not see him. On one occasion, Moses' soul showed through his face after he had been talking to God. Exodus 34, 29-35 And it came to pass, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, with the two tablets of the covenant in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses knew not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him, and Moses talked with them. And afterward all the children of Israel came near, and he gave them in commandment all that the I Am had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the I Am to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spoke unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone. And Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him. On one occasion, Moses' soul showed through his face after he had been talking to God and the people were afraid, so he covered his face with the veil. The smoke cloud, with the spaceship inside it, guided the people, and they followed it. 
Numbers 9.17-23 and 10.34-36. Numbers 9.17 And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, and after the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. At the commandment of the I Am, the children of Israel journeyed, and at the commandment of the I Am they pitched. As long as the cloud abode upon the tabernacle, they rested in their tents. And when the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle many days, then the children of Israel kept the charge of the I Am, and journeyed not. And so it was, when the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle, according to the commandment of the I Am, they abode in their tents, and according to the commandment of the I Am, they journeyed. And so it was, when the cloud abode from even until the morning, and that the cloud was taken up in the morning, then they journeyed, whether it was by day or by night that the cloud was taken up, they journeyed. Or whether it were two days or a month or a year that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle, remaining thereon, the children of Israel abode in their tents, and journeyed not. But when it was taken up, they journeyed. At the commandment of the I Am, they rested in the tents, and at the commandment of the I Am, they journeyed. They kept the charge of the I Am, at the commandment of the I Am, by the hand of Moses. Numbers 10, 34-36 And the cloud of the I Am was upon them by day, when they went out of the camp. And it came to pass, when the ark set forward, that Moses said, Rise up, I Am, and let thine enemies be scattered and let them that hate thee flee before thee. And when it rested, he said, Return, O I am, unto the many thousands of Israel. The smoke cloud, with the spaceship inside it, guided the people, and they followed it. Numbers 9.17-23 and 10.34-36, wherever it went. When it stopped, they stopped and camped, sometimes for days. And when it moved, they followed it. The devil had to try to pull the people back away from God, so he worked on their egos making them arrogant and stubborn, because they thought that they were special in God's eyes. The Lord became angry with them on many occasions. Once, when the people were complaining, the Lord burned some of them to death and would have burned more of them, but Moses begged for them to be forgiven. Numbers 11, 1 to 2. And when the people complained, it displeased the I Am, and the I Am heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the I Am burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses, and when Moses prayed unto the I Am, the fire was quenched.